I want to address these mass shootings and our government leaders. And, you know, several times we had Ferguson and, and uh, Baltimore and some of the events that were taking place. That's, that's kind of one subject. But there was a, this Umqua, Umqua, Oregon, if I'm saying it right, um, with those kids being killed in the school, those in that junior college up there. And there was Sandy Hook. There was the Virginia Tech, if I'm correct. I know it was in Virginia years ago. And then the Aurora, Colorado, that theater incident. Of course, we had Columbine years ago. And it seemed like every time, you know, I'm going to come on and be, I'm going to preach this until somebody gets it. But every time we come on talking about gun control and gun laws, and, and sure enough, uh, we could implement some laws like uh, maybe checking backgrounds on people at various places where they purchase guns. We, we could do that, but that's not the answer. It's the moral fabric. And when are, when are our government leaders going to get that? The moral fabric is deteriorating. We're allowing everything and anything. The devil doesn't have a crack in, the, in this society. He has a highway. Our government officials have turned their backs on God. It's too soon. When are we going to get it? When the righteous rule, the nation rejoice. When the wicked rule, the nation mourn. And they mourn because all this madness going on. You don't just mourn for nothing. You mourn because all this heartache and hardship taking place. You know, app applauding all the wicked things that God, that God sees as sinful. You don't applaud that and appreciate that and consider it courageous to admit who you are. And all these, man, we're tearing, I think it was just Oklahoma some courthouse, they, they, they took down the uh, Ten Commandments because this religious church and state business, and I'm not getting into detail, but help us, Jesus, what's wrong with a sign saying don't kill, don't steal, you know, don't commit adultery? People get killed for committing adultery. What's wrong with putting up a sign telling people don't do that? You know, don't accuse your brother falsely. You know, don't snitch on people. Don't lie on people. You get killed for that. What's wrong with putting up, but because simply because it came out of the Bible, America and its, and its leaders hate it. And so they allow it in the court system, go ahead and pass judgment saying we got to remove it. This is why we got all this hell going on. When are people going, you know, when are our leaders going to get it? When is Congress, the House, Senate, when is our president going to just buckle down? Quit coming on television, talking about all the problems with society and talking about gun control and getting political. How about just spending an hour on television and just commanding America to join together in prayer and go, but go after God? But God said, oh, my people who are called by my name. There are many Christians, but they're not standing up who are in those positions of leadership. Many of us Christians are on the outside, as pastors like myself, we're praying. But we need our leadership to hear it. So, yeah, we're praying for our government. We're praying for our officials, but our officials got to get it. So I'm here. I'm just going to be a voice out here crying in the wilderness. Come on. When are we going to get it? You know, when are we going to learn? It's going to be more and more shootings and more crazy, heinous acts taking place all across this country until our government begins to put God first. Our leadership in those positions begin to put God first. And, or, you know, or else devastation is going to come and everybody's going to be on their knees. And it shouldn't have to go that far. And that's all I want to just come on and talk about. Yeah. All these mass shootings and our government leaders. That's what I'm addressing right now. Pass this one on. We need Jesus. The government needs Jesus. Don't pull away from God. That's why this nation has been blessed, because we had God first. And we're pulling away from God, and everything and anything has gotten in. Click subscribe to BFABP.com. That's believers from a biblical perspective. And also, go to anthonyblackmanministries.com right now and see how you can obtain some materials that are listed there. And my book, Blacks from a Biblical Perspective, is there as well. Awesome. Black people, uh, every race, nationality, Asians, Hispanic, Latino, whatever. Uh, get Europeans, Africans. Get yourself a copy of Blacks from a Biblical Perspective. Go to my site. Go to my online store. It'll bless your socks off. God bless you.